Always the first, right? Always the first. <laughs> Sometimes, right? But when don't when don't have a problem with the you? Zoom, fine. Fine. Everything okay, teacher. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Here. Here, here, here. No. No, I don't listen to you. I can't hear you. Can you? I can't hear you. I, I don't know why, but in my case, yes, I hear you very well. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. But yes. I can't hear you. Let me check. Let me see. Something changed, maybe. Mm. There. Luis, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. Okay, now I can hear you. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I told you that sometimes sometime I am first. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. That's good, Luis. Okay, good. So... Hey, we got Nuri today too. That's nice. Nuri. Hey, who are you, Nuri? Connect your audio, Nuri. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening, Nuri. How are you? Doing good. It's the last day of the week, and then we have only one more week. Imagine only four more classes. And tomorrow? Tomorrow no. Friday. No. No, tomorrow no. Ah, okay. Hey, we have class next week, um, Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday, Friday. Ah, yeah, because the second November, right? Is, correct. Uh, correct. Is, That's so the, is, the Friday is class is next week, not not tomorrow, but next week, Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the next week. Ah, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. So next week we have four classes, but it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday is the the national holiday, and then Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nuri, do you like to cook? Yes, teacher. Of course, I do. <laughs> ah, what is your favorite thing to cook, Nuri? Um, lasagna. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Sounds yes, delicious, yes. Nuri. Sounds delicious. Yes, <laughs> I like it. Okay, and you like lasagna with with meat, with mushrooms, with vegetable. With how do you like your lasagna? Yes, uh, sometimes uh, chicken, and sometimes uh, meat. Mm -hmm. okay. What about you, Luis? Do you like to cook? No, I, I don't like it. I can't. I only it. only the basic, right? Uh-huh. Uh, to not so you don't die, right? Only the basic yeah. so you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> only the basic egg, uh, beans, mm -hmm. and rice. Okay, okay. Well, at least at oh, least yeah, something. Yeah, right? At least know. something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am the survivor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, great. And you Nuri, teacher? Yes, I like to cook. I, I, I enjoy cooking a lot. Um, usually, usually I, I like to cook. Well, I like to cook many different, but my favorite thing to cook is chili. I like to cook chili. Ah, chili, beans, mm -hmm. and meat, and spices, meat. and uh, spices. tomatoes, and pepper. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, I like to uh, eating with with nachos. Exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. with nachos. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good teacher. Yeah, I like to make lasagna too, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's not so often. It's not so often that I make lasagna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I I think it's a, a little little bit difficult. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. me, the mo the most difficult, the most complicated food to make is uh, ravioli. 
because uh -huh. ravioli is ravioli is a lot of work. Yes. Why is it ravioli? Ravioli is like a little box, well, like a little square or circle, and then mm -hmm. inside you put cheese or spinach or the, the different ingredient that you want, meat if you want meat, and then you close it and you you cook it. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can you can buy the lasagna the the ravioli already prepared, but if you want to make your own, it's it's a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause are very very uh, little. Yeah, yeah. You can make <laughs> you can make them big, but it's always is complicated because if you make big, it, it's a, a lot of ingredient, and you have to be careful that they don't explode. Oh. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why sometimes it's better ah, only buy the only buy already prepared and only only mm -hmm. boil and that's it. Yes. <laughs> but it's not the same flavor. It's not the same. Yes, that's true. That's true. It's like the like lasagna, right? Is it's not the same when you make at home that you already buy in the supermarket prepared. Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We can add more, more, uh, more ingredients. Exactly. exactly. And not only the ingredients, the, the flavor, more salt, less salt, more Italian, less Italian, the different, yes. the different things that you want. Yes, the bechamel sauce that we use when prepare the lasagna, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, um, it's a special flavor. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. All right, well, hey, it's great that we have a couple more people. We got Roxana, Miguel, and Marvin, excellent. In this moment, today we're going to finish our last activities for the speaking section. If you remember, we've been watching videos and practicing the speaking section. Yesterday, we, oops, hang on, let me finish this one. Yesterday, we finished the speaking section about here, integrated question number six, about the road signs, and then about the lectures, and here about agriculture class, okay. We had, ah, this is the last one, this, the criminal law class, this one, we didn't finish. That's the one we're going to listen to right now. Okay. It's okay. Before we go to that one, were there any questions about the previous one or maybe vocabulary or words that you said, oh, I don't remember. What is the meaning? No, the other ones were okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, right. it's okay to yeah, the goat. Okay. The goat. Correct. The one with the goat. Yeah, that was one. That was also the one from agriculture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the problem is the soil and the water and nutrients. Yes. And remember that the goats eat anything and they don't allow for the plants to grow. So this is the idea mm -hmm. for the integrated. How how the goats affect negative the land and why the land is in this form, not able to grow the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll destroy the environment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's listen to exercise number two. They listen to a lecture. Let me, let's read the instructions. Using specific information from the lecture, explain the professor's concern about changing the justice system and what the needs need to be done before reforms are made. Okay, so what are the, the concerns is why they are worried about the justice system. You listen, take notes or remember, and two, what needs to be done? What are the opinion or recommendations from the speaker? So it's two, remember, it's going to be two parts. Let's listen. As you know, the basic principle of the American juvenile justice system is that children are different from adults. And it follows that the way the justice system deals with children should reflect these differences. When the principle was established, it provided for the individualizing of treatment and services to vulnerable children. However, this system is under threat. 
Critics say it's not tough enough. And also, it fails to rehabilitate children. And some of you may agree. After all, criminal statistics point to a steadily increasing problem of youngsters committing crimes. But my concern is that young offenders may start to be treated as adults. Before any reforms are made, a rational examination of the whole system needs to be undertaken. As I see it, there are three key areas of research. The first is accountability. Okay, so in other words, how are juveniles different from adults in their understanding of criminal behavior? How do we assess their responsibility? Secondly, we need to evaluate risk, risk evaluation. So this means, how can we determine the chances of a given youth committing a crime? And how can we use this information to prevent the crime in the first place? The third area of research is susceptibility. Okay, so already we, have, we should have two main ideas because she is saying in this moment, in the third one, what did you listen? What was number one and number two? What is she talking about? Uh, in the number one, I don't remember the word that she used, but she is talking about the, the system law is uh, have a different uh, treatment with uh, youth than mm -hmm. adult people. Mm -hmm. And they have to make that difference. And the in the second part, uh, second key, she says about uh, they have to risk uh, about the the young the young people uh, study the way they act, the behaviors to avoid or prevent the more uh, uh, criminals event. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Now let's listen. The next one is number three. Remember, you should be able to, you don't have to explain all of them if you don't remember, but you should be able to explain some of the professor's concerns. This is why the professor is worried or what is the, the problem for the professor. Then also you need to explain according to what the professor says, You can, what needs to be done before reforms are made, okay? So what is that thing that the society or people need to do also? Hmm. Okay, let me try one here. As you know, examination of the whole system needs to be undertaken. And how can we use this information to prevent the crime in the first place? The third area of research is susceptibility. We need to know how susceptible young people are to change. Can we assess a child's or a young person's likelihood of changing behavior or of responding to treatment? So, to repeat, accountability, risk evaluation, and a susceptibility to change. These three key areas of research should be based on a thorough understanding of child and adolescent development. We need experts from all relevant fields, as well as input from the general public. More needs to be learned about the origins, development, prevention, and treatment of juvenile crime. And that knowledge has to be spread among professionals and the community. In this way, eventual reforms of the system may really be able to tackle the growing problem. Okay. So, one more time. What were the three topics that they talked about? Did you, uh, um, did you explain that the first key, uh, uh, the name of that first key? There, 
maybe there are uh, three kind of uh, three clue three, three clue uh risk, risk evaluation mm -hmm. accountability and susceptibility change maybe okay. the, yeah. the first the first one which is the first one the first is the accountability, accountability. what is that teacher what is that accountability is when you see who is responsible and how responsible each person is this is accountability for example if there is a problem in the job okay it's a problem but who is responsible who is the person that allowed or permitted for this mistake this is accountability okay thank you mm -hmm. what was number two breaks evaluate risk Okay, risk management. Mm -hmm. Evaluation. Okay. Try to prevent or change. All right. The and number three? Susceptibility. Okay, what does that mean? She explained, but what is success, susceptibility? Oh, the, uh, it explains about how young people change. The behavior i think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes yes that's the idea how they are not only how they change but also how they are influenced okay we're going to listen one more time and we want to try to see okay we're going to try one more time listen take notes if you need a few notes or some information and then we want to compare what they say again and what they have that can be done to make the reforms. Remember, they're going to say it two times. The first time you're going to listen one by one, one explanation, two explanation, three explanation. Then she says, okay, summary to some, and she explained again the three. Remember, listen clearly. So did you understand each one, what it is, because you have to explain it. Not only listen, but you have to explain in your own words or using the ideas from there. Okay, so let's try one more time. Oh, I, I forgot. As you know, the basic principle of the American juvenile justice system is that children are different from adults. And it follows that the way the justice system deals with children should reflect these differences. When the principle was established, it provided for the individualizing of treatment and services to vulnerable children. However, this system is under threat. Critics say it's not tough enough. And also, it fails to rehabilitate children. And some of you may agree. After all, criminal statistics point to a steadily increasing problem of youngsters committing crimes. But my concern is that young offenders may start to be treated as adults. Before any reforms are made, a rational examination of the whole system needs to be undertaken. As I see it, there are three key areas of research. The first is accountability. Okay, so... In other words, how are juveniles different from adults in their understanding of criminal behavior? How do we assess their responsibility? Secondly, we need to evaluate risk, risk evaluation. So this means, how can we determine the chances of a given youth committing a crime? And how can we use this information to prevent the crime in the first place? The third area of research is susceptibility. We need to know how susceptible young people are to change. Can we assess a child's or a young person's likelihood of changing behavior or of responding to treatment? So, to repeat, accountability, risk evaluation, and a susceptibility to change. These three key areas of research should be based on a thorough understanding of child and adolescent development. We need experts from all relevant fields, 
as well as input from the general public. More needs to be learned about the origins, development, prevention, and treatment of juvenile crime. And that knowledge has to be spread among professionals and the community. In this way, eventual reforms of the system may really be able to tackle the growing problem. Okay. It's clear the three? Yes. Accountability, number one. Number two. Risk evaluation. Risk evaluation. Risk Excellent. Evaluation. Number three. Susceptibility. Good. Now, what are you going to do? In your audio, the best way to answer is first, describe number one, two, and three, and then describe how this or what can be done to help make the reforms, which is the question. Remember, the question is two parts. Using specific information from the lecture, explain the professor's concern about changing the justice system and what needs to be done before the reforms. Okay. okay. In this moment, record the audio and send. Record the audio and send. Okay, Luis, Mirna, Miguel, excellent. Marvin. And Roxy, all right, great job. Okay, now Mirna, I, I'm looking at the time. Uh, the others are okay for the time. Luis, okay, Miguel, Marvin, Roxy, but remember Mirna, Try to give more details and more example. Do you want to use all of your time to express your answer completely? Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay. You're welcome. All right. So now let now that we have the idea and we practice, now we can do the test of this part. We're going to go to our final activity for the speaking. So here is speaking practice test two. You have a lot of things to do. Just remember, like the integrated, read, discuss, right? Listen, record. Then the next, Re here you read, you listen, you discuss, and then the same thing. So as you can see, we have three exercises. We have three, one, two, and here. For this, we're going to go with our partners, we want to make sure that we understand the reading, that we are clear what the idea is, the instructions. Then we're going to listen to the two students here speaking and we answer. The same thing for the other ones, okay? And we read, listen to part of the lecture, okay? And then answer the question, each one. It's okay? Yes. Yeah, just to, okay. Just to be clear, yes, teacher. We are going to send three three audios. Correct, because we have three. We have here activity number one, right? And then we have activity number two, and then the last one. 
Let me let me make sure. Okay. So reading, listen, okay, and answer. Okay, so here is now listen to those two students as they discuss and answer the question. The woman expresses her desire for work study, state the requirement. This is one. Here is number two, is only a listening to the culture and studies. Okay, read the questions and answer. Oh, my apologies. You're going to send two audios. Two audios. Yes, yes you're right. Two audios. Only that you're going to speak because there are many sections. Mm -hmm. So, correct, only two audios. But remember, there are reading section, discuss, listening section, discuss, then answer the question. And the same for the other activities. Remember, listen to your partner, send the audios. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Send the audios. Okay, we're ready? Okay. Yes, All right. yes teacher. Excellent, let's do it. Nuri, you have problems, right?
Maybe. Uh, hey, hey. Teacher. Teacher, help us. Yes. What okay. is it, the exercise? Okay. So we are in speaking test. Continue. Yeah. Okay. So speaking section, speaking practice. Ah, you don't have. Yes, no, we don't have it. Did you only have speaking practice test one? Yes. Click speaking practice test one. Let me see. Uh, appear just one paragraph and was uh, just one hour. Mm -hmm. oh. no, the paragraph is not just one hour. No, but it's only one activity for, for you on, only. Yeah. It's only one activity, right? Yes. Very strange. Because I don't have this. This one is describe a skill you have. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the groups. Let's see if we can figure it out. Okay. okay. Nuri, you're back. Okay, I see what you mean, guys. Let's take a look. Yeah, because I have this one. I have speaking practice test two, but I don't have number one. Only from integrated directly to here. But you don't have this one, right? No. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, this teacher one. we discuss about the about uh -huh. that one. This is this is the paragraph. This paragraph, yes, you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the audio, yes. Yes, yes. too. But we okay. don't but have time this... to. We didn't have time to 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 send the the, the no, audio. No, no, no problem. It's oh. because we were looking that it, it said for for the group said integrated to activity one. This one you have. The woman expresses her desire for a work study job, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This audio you don't have, and you don't have this question. Yeah. Either. Okay. Only so only you have only number one. Yeah, only number one. Okay, let's yeah. do two. then no problem. Then we do number two together. Then we do Richard, number. Yes. I I find the problem. Tell me. Tell me, Mario. Uh, in the in the courses appear tougher one, tougher two, and tougher one again. I I, I want to share my screen to to show you. Show show me your screen. Yes, let's see. Indicate the platform. Okay. Um, in this part, uh, tougher one, tougher two, and tougher one again here. Yes, uh -huh. it's the same. My platform. Yes. Okay, but we are in TOEFL too. Yeah, uh, in this. Yes. yes. That was the problem, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, that was the problem. Okay. Because click, repeat. No, no, repeat click next. Post. Let me see. Let's make sure. Siguiente. Click the next. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, Marvin. You're right. You were in yeah. the other one. You were in the one that said, yeah. uh-huh. Yes. Okay, no problem. It's okay. The, hey, this is how it's normal. With the technology, sometimes it's confusing why they put two in the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Marvin. Okay. Then we go back to the groups and we continue and we finish. No problem. Okay. 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 What about okay. Nuri? Were you able to connect or no? Or Nuri is not able to connect? I don't know what is the problem of Nuri. Yeah, I saw that in the group she put internet problem, but I see Nuri is here. So maybe, maybe the problem is the microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we try. We try anyway with the other partners.
if you didn't finish, go ahead, finish, send the, send the last audio. I see that we have Roxana and that we had Marvin. If you didn't finish, go ahead, go ahead and send it. Yes, we finished, teacher. Excellent, Roxana. All right. I see this this last audio is, is nice and long, 120. That's good. That's good. Marvin, too. But I think I I speak uh, or, or I repeat some ideas. I think, <laughs> but it, I don't okay. know. No, no, it's okay. The idea is that that's why we practice the audios because you don't want to repeat. You want to uh, not get nervous when you have the exam. You don't want to be nervous. I, 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 no. You want to already have the experience. What to do how to do it, how to organize. This is the organize. most nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Any questions? No, teacher, for me, no question. Okay. I consider if you understand, if I understand the, the audio, it's not difficult for me to, to speak or, that, or give, my, give my opinion. But sometimes it's a little difficult because in the last, the last, the yesterday I had problem with the audio because I don't understand about the the name of the of the animal, mm -hmm. and when I listen the audio, I it's not in this case it's, it is wasn't clear doesn't it doesn't clear the I don't have clear idea in my mind. And it's difficult to express my opinion. Yes, this is, of course, if you don't understand or you don't hear clearly, it is impossible to answer the question correctly. You, you answer what you think, but you don't know because yeah. you didn't listen or you're not sure. So sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. And the idea is to, at, at least if you read the question, okay, I didn't listen to the audio, but the question is this. So... I make these ideas. And most of the time, in most of the questions is for contrasting information. The person have one and the audio have another opinion or they demonstrate. This is so that the ideas also help you because if you don't understand the audio, okay, look at the question and make sure. Usually it's going to be, ah, what does the speaker say? Ah, the speaker is normally the opposite ideas. But it's longer, teacher. Yes, and the audios are a little long, right? Did you listen? <laughs> it's not. It's not. Ah, five seconds, uh, <laughs> ten seconds, thirty seconds. It's minutes. Okay, one minute, two minutes, to, uh, almost three minutes, depending the the level of the audio. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I am glad that we finished the speaking. That means that next week the four days we are going to begin with our writing section. Now, writing is nice because in the writing section also, you have the opportunity to check your answers. Not only like in the speaking, in the speaking you speak, make mistake, it's recorded. It's the, you can't erase, you, you can't go, I, let me listen and check, no. But the writing, yes. In the writing, you can go, you can see, I, I don't like this word. I changed this word. I Oh, I forgot the period. I put the period. Different information. Okay. Now, do you remember? We're going to watch a small video right now so that we prepare for Monday. What is included and what are the different writings? Welcome to the last section of this course, the writing section. Here, we'll study independent writing question two. We'll tell you what it is and what is expected from you. As always, you will have time to practice and to take the writing test. Good luck. Okay. Now, as you can see, it says independent writing test two. Why number two? Because number question number two is different than the question number one in the last module. Each question or each activities, they are a little bit different. They ask for different activities, or different functions, okay? Do you like to, do you write in Spanish? Do you like to write? For example, not, stories not or teacher. Here? No. In my case, no, and it's difficult for me to write. I have 
problems. When I study at the university, I remember when I try to, to write some essay, I, I don't know how, how to, to start and, and, and how to express the ideas. You need to, to collect some information and then you need to write, but, but it's really difficult. <laughs> For me, it's difficult. Okay. No, and it's good. It's good that you explain that, Roxana, because the writing is, if you don't, like everything, if you don't practice, it's more difficult. Right? Yeah, but I consider is this this uh, is a talent. If you don't have talent to write, it's more difficult for you. But there are some techniques I uh, for writing, but for me it's difficult. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. No, and it's good. It's similar like in Spanish. Some people, it doesn't matter. They don't like to write. So if you don't like to write, even in Spanish, <gasps> imagine in English having to write. And in English with academic functions, academic purpose. Okay? Yeah. So don't worry. We practice. And next week, we're going to practice the writing, learn some techniques, some strategies, they are similar to writing in Spanish, only that it's in English. For example, organize your ideas, introduction, the body, the conclusion, depend the writing, cause and effect, compare and contrast. But the next week we're going to see. Right now, we're going to pause and then we continue the class on Monday. Okay. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.